When you look at this pitching staff, what do you see? The starting rotation, and then you have Class A closer. I liked him last year. I like him even more this year. Yeah, and he's around for a while too, obviously. Uh, and and you know they have contract stability, you know, cost certainty with him moving forward, which is great. Uh, he was one of the most electric lever- relievers in all of MLB last year. Um, the bullpen, you know, beyond him is is very much young and unproven. So um, they brought back Brian Shaw as, as kind of a setup option, but um, but but largely unproven in that group. Uh, as far as the starting group goes, you know, that could be a top ten rotation in MLB again. You know, they they have the talent to do that. It's just the question of obviously Shane Bieber's health is first and foremost. You know, a, a shoulder injury can be a, a tricky situation for a pitcher. And, you know, sometimes the best predictor of future injury is past injury. So that's something you got to watch closely. But, you know, he's he's, he's looked good in camp, and that, that's great to see. And if, if he can get back to that level he was at, uh, you know, in the pandemic shortened year, then obviously you feel great about the front end of that rotation. I think the other question is just Cal Quantrill had an incredible second half. And, you know, is that real? Um, I'm inclined to believe it is, but we have to see that for sure. Um, Tristan McKenzie made great adjustments last year after after a rough start to the season. You know, he really pitched with more conviction uh, as the year went along and, and and really finished the season on a strong note. So you feel good about that. Um, and Aaron Savali, I think, is is pretty underrated across MLB. I mean, he had the injuries last year with the finger, but I think he could be a very solid, you know, consistent starter in the middle of a rotation. So it could be a very good rotation. But, you know, so much revolves around Bieber and his health. Yeah, the other thing that just seems to be I think it's going to be a very good rotation I don't necessarily think it's going to be a dominant one where you know they're gonna they're gonna shut everybody out they're gonna you know it's going to be guys that give you consistently good starts the offense is going to need to generate some runs though yeah definitely um and you know it, it can be frustrating trying to get all that to work on the same level when you have so much youth just in general uh, and, and so much uncertainty there. I would say the you know the biggest test, if, as I look at the complexion of this roster, is just we are coming off of a shortened, uh, you know, accelerated spring training, and it's going to test every team in baseball, the Guardians included. You know, um, there's going to be a lot of injuries. There were a lot of injuries last year coming off the pandemic shortened season, and I would expect something similar this year. And you're going to have to rely on depth in your system. You know, we saw that last year with the Guardians really having to go to guys that they never expected or were not even talked about before the start of the year. Um, and, and that could be very well the, the case again here in 2022.